Okay, so we have done the primary textures for the scene in the previous tutorial. When I say primary textures, I mean those shaders that are in the focus of the camera and has a lot of detail put into it. The rest of the scene, believe it or not, it's a compilation of many simple textures, which I therefore called secondary textures. Uh, secondary textures are still very important because they have to complement the primary shaders, uh, amongst other things. I'm not going to show you how to make every single texture because they are all fundamentally the same. I'll show you two techniques. The way I made the windows and the way I made the roof. Also, before we start, the entirety of my texture course is on Skillshare. The link is in the description and it should allow you one month free. First up, the windows. For this shader to work properly, we need each window to be its own object. You'll see why in a bit. Uh, start a new shader and set the blend mode to alpha blend and the shadow mode to alpha clip since we are making a transparent window. Then discard the basic BSDF, replacing it with a mix shader and after that bring in a gradient node and set that to quadratic sphere. Now make sure your windows have their origins set to the mesh's center for when we control T this node and set it to object, a circle should appear at the model's center. That is why we need each window to be its own model, so that the circle appears in the middle of the shader around its origin. Now, just crunch the color ramps value that we put in front of the gradient node, crunch it a bit, and the black values should also be pretty light. Once all that is done, plug the entire node tree into the factor of that mix shader that we just brought in and then simply plug in an emission and transparent node into that mix shader as you see on the screen here. Now as you can see, the gradient node is applying the emission on the circle's edge and making everything else transparent. To add further detail, you can plug in a noise shader into the scale of the mapping node with a color ramp between them. Make sure the color ramps black values are light as well and there we go now you can edit the windows as you see fit change the color move some sliders whichever Up next, we shall shade the roof. The method I'm going to use now is the method I used in most of my secondary textures within the scene because it is pretty reliable. We start off with a simple paint image texture and place a color ramp in front of it. You don't need to darken the white values like I'm doing over here because I'm going to change that later on. After that, bring in a mix color that is set to multiply and plug that entire image tree into the factor of that mix color. Now, Set the B colors and A colors to whatever shade of color you want. I'm going for more of a blue paint, but make sure the B color of this mix color is darker than the A color, okay? Then after that, bring in a gradient node and control T it rotating the Y value by 90 and placing a color ramp in front of that as well. This should be plugged into another mix color set to multiply and plug them like this. There we go, simple but effective, that's done. As you can see, most of the other shaders are variants of this roof texture, even though they all look so different. They're obviously different image textures and so on, and different colors, but they are fundamentally the same. Oh, and these bushes are from Taiwan's epic bush tutorial. Link for that will be in the description, inshallah. And that is it for this tutorial series. It was a very short one, but I hope you learned some good fundamentals of anime shading in Blender. Make sure to send your finished renders on the Discord. 
and they should all be submitted before the 10th of November so that the winners can be announced thereafter, inshallah. Thanks to all those supporting me on the Patreon. Your help is much appreciated and I hope you enjoyed all of the anime nature tutorials that they should continue soon next month, inshallah. Alright, see you in the next tutorial. Alright, bye.